One of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl in two weeks time. Which will it be as we're underway in the NFC title game? And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Saquon Barkley, a man who played collegiately here in the Keystone State. Yeah, able to elude one tackler, but only gets this back to the line of scrimmage. Throwing from the gun, it hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there in the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. And Smith in motion right. hurts and he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there Brian Burns he's the culprit causes a loss of five and it brings up fourth down they'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline and where did this one go out not good let's see they're going to say inside the 35 yard line So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Go, check, go, check. Liking 18. Check, Panther. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense the playbook is still open go. for the coordinator and they'll come up second hey, and seven Ready. throw left side taken in by Slayton and inside the 20 before he's brought down 13 yards, good for a giant first down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with okay, your guy great. either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same Talk thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. 19, now they'll change 19, things around before the snap. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Now a second and six. Drop 60, drop 60. 70 Ranger, 70 Ranger. Warrior 70. Cougar 19. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman, the ability to move laterally up and down the come line on, of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? 18, five here. Dragon 60. Seven Pirates, seven Pirates. 19, light. Willis out of the gun. Able to find the open man. That's 
complete. And the Giants are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hookup and set up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Giants. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Giants have struck first in this NFC title game. Extra point try good by Gano. And that makes the score 7-0. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of the game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. In motion right is Smith. 63, 63, 63. Hurt sets up to throw it. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Well, it's a cold night. And whether you're a quarterback that wears a glove on his throwing hand or not, that ball is a rock, Brandon. You've got to really drive it through the cold and the wind or it can take off on you. And that may have been what happened there. Meanwhile, Willis, a throw completed to Hyatt. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. the 28-yard line. Here's second and four. Panther 11. Panther 11. Hurt, hurt. 19 sight. 19. Alert. Alert. Roll, roll, roll. Ready, ready. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. Down to the 25. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Third and two. In motion, Slayton. 60 Bobcats, 60 Bobcats. Third and two, Willis. And this pass broken up. Uh, the contact, well timed there. And now fourth down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one. Close quickly. It helped force the incompletion. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Ready. Willis now off play action. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Eagles defense able to hold. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Here's Hurts to throw. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. First down, Eagles. He'll drop to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. And Hurt's going to move them around. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. That one complete down the field to Smith. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. On oh, the sneak, it's Hurts. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Almost want to go Shakespeare here. My kingdom for a yard. Quarterback sneak, nothing doing. Better you be careful. Shakespeare might sue you. Yeah, he might come get me, right? Good luck with that, Bard. Third and goal here. A big play brewing in this NFC title game. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Here's Barkley, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Elliott Good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Let's go now. First down, they'll go to the ground attack to about the 48-yard line. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job go, on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. 
And they'll send the tight end in motion here. 18 Back to throw Willis. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 34-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. That's complete to Slayton. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now that sets up third and two. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he will have the Giants first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. 60, 60. Now Willis on first and 10. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Giants have taken the lead. Gano now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Great, great, great. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC Championship. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Hurts. Receiver complete. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven. Hurts. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Touchdown! Dallas Goddard, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. 
Elliott good on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Down the right sideline and down to the 27-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 62 yards. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much since. Mustang 19. Panther 11. Panther 11. Ready? Willis looks to pass it here. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Gano's kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Got it. Ready? Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and three, 10. Three. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's got it down to the 28. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. 19 tight. Second down, here's Willis. Got it for the right sideline, is complete. Touchdown, Giants! A great effort there. In the final seconds,
minutes of the first half. And the Giants will extend their lead here just before halftime. Gano the extra point, and his guys will take a 10 point lead. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. They'll throw now on the final play. Eluding the pressure right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And this taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And I think here with the lead, CD, they have to resist that temptation to kind of looking ahead. Would you agree? Absolutely, I would agree, because they know the stakes. They know the winner of this game goes to the Super Bowl. And this one, it's far from over. They were the better team in the first half, but they do know that they're facing their toughest opponent of the year. And they've got to be prepared for them to fight it out all the way and add a few extra wrinkles in the second half as well. They need to stay on guard. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. 18. Throwing again on second and 10, Willis. Oh, he rifles one and that's gonna be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. But first down, Hurts. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Hurts. Got a man. It's Brown. Touchdown, Eagles. A.J. Brown. 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Elliott good with a PAT. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. 
He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And they'll send the slot in motion left. The second down throw by Willis. Hyatt able to make the catch downfield. Now he's loose down the middle of the field. Touchdown, Giants! Jalen Hyatt, 79 yards. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point try, good by Gano. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, put the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. They'll set up to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. They'll look to throw here on first down. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Throwing his hurts. Down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to go down, just outside of the 5, right around the 6-yard line. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down the ground. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Well, looks like they'll move things around here. Hey, silver, silver, silver. Second down. Here's Hurts. Touchdown! A.J. Brown with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Eagles are back within a score. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Makes the score Giants 31, Eagles 28. Jake Elliott to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away.
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for the offense. And he is finally taken down, but not before he gets it to the Eagles, 26. It's a gain of 35. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Three, They'll bring three, one of the tight ends in motion left. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, Let's maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Willis will look to throw it. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. 23 yards for the touchdown as his guys are able to extend their lead. Gano the extra point, and his guys will take a 10 point lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Burt sets up to throw it. Flushed out right. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. Back to throw. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down, but to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter.
The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Dexter Lawrence drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Oh, they're changing this at the line. Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and 10. Now Hurts looking to change the play. to throw. Flush to his right. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Now they'll change things up. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. This is Smith with the ground. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Escaping the pressure right. Toward the pylon, caught. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Oh, the sneak. It's Hurts. And he is not going to get in as the big bodies stop him at the one. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Now, that was a little too conservative for my liking. It's only second down, and they try to run the sneak. Give credit to the defense. They pushed him back and set up third down. the middle with Barkley, and he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the night, and the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Elliott good on the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. 
And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And the pressure mounting with every passing minute. It's palpable right now. They're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. A potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that small lead. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. And he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field. And they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. Barkley inside handoff. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second down, here's Barkley again. It'll be a minimum pickup, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Super Bowl aspirations on the line. A critical one here. It's third down. Now Hurts changing up the play. Back to throw here. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Giants have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. That one looks like he'll throw here. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he is going to have a New York first down, and the Giants are going to win the football game. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever okay, they ready. saw going into Rebo, this one, Rebo. they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. So with your team leading in the fourth quarter, you know you've got to run the football. They know you've got to run the football. Sometimes that means there's nowhere to run the football. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. Unlock line, unlock line. 
He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now he's loose again. How about this? Racing to the end zone. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Extra point try good by Godot. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Pass midfield, look out. And it'll end there as he goes out of bounds, but a heck of a return all the way inside the opposite 40. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to get it back to a one-score game. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So the field goal means we're back to a one-score game. But with no timeouts left, I think this has to be an onside kick. I like your analysis there, partner. I think you're right. You need the ball back. That's probably your only avenue. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. And the crowd on its feet, and understandably so, they are Super Bowl bound after taking that knee. How about the ability to celebrate not just winning a championship, but to do it with your fans on your home field? What a great collaboration for them all year long. They will take a knee here and cue the celebrations. They are off to the Super Bowl.